Welcome to the Planet Pearl video tutorial for an invisible sewn ribbed bind off. Our supplies, a swatch of Pearl One Knit One ribbing, and a tapestry needle. So we're going to start out with a little swatch. I started in stockinette and then did, did a little bit of ribbing here. And we're going to, we start here with a pearl and we're going to sew this with a tapestry needle rather than a regular bind off. So we need approximately four times the width of our knitting to make sure we have enough yarn. And normally we of course would bind off in the same yarn, but in this case, so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to bind off with a, a contrast color. So I'll just tie a little half hitch knot here. So I need f four times the width and then you're going to thread the end through a tapestry needle. Now this is a five step process, but we're going to start with step three, four, and five, which is the setup. And then we're going to start back with step one. So what we're going to do first is going to be step three, which is you're going to go purl wise into the first stitch and you're going to purl the stitch off, which means you're going to drop it off the needle. Then step three is you're going to come from the back, or this is actually really step four, but we're doing it next. So step four is we're going to come in between, now stitch one and two on the needle, and then go knit wise, this is step five, through that second stitch. Alright, so now that's steps three, four, and five. So now we're going to start over with step with stitch with step one. Step one is you're going to knit off the first stitch. So you go in knit wise, and we're going to do this several times. If you want to go write this down, you go in knit wise into the first stitch and knit it and pull it off. You're going to knit it off. Then you're going to go purl wise into the second stitch left on the needle. And then step three, which we've done before, we're going to purl off that first stitch on the needle. So here we are. This is step three. We're going to purl off that stitch. Too many ends and tails when you tie something on. There we go. So we're going to purl that stitch off. Then step four, we've done this one before too, we're going to come in from the back in between the first and second stitch on the needle. And then step five, we're going to go knit wise into that second stitch. That's all five steps. So now we're going to start again with Step one, which is we're going to go knit wise into the stitch and knit it off. Then we're going to go purl wise into the second stitch on the needle. That's step two. And then step three, we're going to purl off stitch one. Go in purl wise with your tapestry needle and purl that stitch off. Then step four, in between from the back between the first and second stitch on the needle. And then step five, go knit wise into that second stitch. And you come out the back. And then we start over. Step one, knit off the first stitch. Step two, purl into the second stitch left on the needle. Step three, 
Step three, purl off the first stitch. Step four, from the back, come up between the first and second stitch on the needle. Step five, go knitwise into the second stitch. We're almost there. You see how stretchy that is? It's really nice. It's got a lot of yarn in it, which is how, why it's so stretchy. And although it's not invisible, because I've done it in, a, in yellow, I'm going to show you an example in a minute of how pretty that looks when it's actually done in the matching color. So we're back to step one. Which is knit off the stitch. Step two, purl into the second stitch on the needle. Then three, we're going to purl off stitch one. And now we're not going to be able to finish four and five because we don't have any stitches left. So we're just going to go through and give it a little knot. And that is how you do an invisible sewn ripped bind off, although it's way more invisible when it's done in the same yarn. So this is a Pearl Queen pattern. It's available on the site and it has a ribbed cast on and it has a sewn ribbed bind off. And you see how nice that is. It's, there's a uh, no hard edge and it's completely stretchy. It's one of my favorite bind offs. And this is one of my favorite babies. Ah, Chelsea. She looks like she got caught in a wind tunnel. Come visit us soon at planetpearl.com.